Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do a little color mixing, and this is a very beginner color mixing. So I am going to start out with three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And this is Daniel Smith paint, but you can use this with Van Gogh paint, um, Crayola paint, and um, just any paint, Windsor Newton, Cotman, any paint you want to. The, the main thing is that we're going to keep them cool colors. So these colors are really cool. Like this yellow does not have any orange tint to it. It looks more green than it does yellow. And this red here is a real neutral red, but it doesn't look orangey. It looks more pink than it does orange. And this blue is very blue. So, then it's just a really neutral blue. It's French ultramarine. This is French ultramarine blue. This is quinacridone red. And this is Nicolazzo yellow. These are just colors I happen to have with me. Um, I am traveling at this moment, so um, we're just going to do this color mixing video. And I'm gonna show you how many colors I can get out of just having these three colors. So I'll link those other paints below. I would really, for a student grade paint and a starter, I would recommend Van Gogh. And I'll link some palettes and stuff that you can get started on that are really relatively inexpensive, but yet really good paint. So I'm going to get started and we're going to start off with placing some of this yellow here. Okay, now to this yellow, I'm going to add just a, in this palette here, I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of red. Okay, so now that takes that yellow into what we call a warm yellow. It's not quite dark enough. So let me get a little bit more there. I want you to be able to see it. So I'm gonna, oop, too much. So I'm gonna get some more. Take it back into, and you can just keep on doing this until you get the color you want. Okay, so there's a warm yellow. It is more, kind of looks the same. Now I'm going orange. It does not take much with these colors. There is more of a warm yellow. Okay, kind of like sunflower color. So there's a cool yellow, a warm yellow, an orangey color. We can even get a deeper orange by adding some more. And really that's kind of a coral color. That is really pretty. I really enjoy that. That would be perfect for some flowers. So these, one thing good about these Daniel Smith is you just don't have to use much. And look at all that paint I have, you know, to do flowers with. I have all that paint. And all I did was add water and a little bit of pigment. Okay, so now we're going to, to these mixtures, I'm going to add a little bit of blue. So if I added a little bit of blue to this warm yellow, I'm going to get a green, of course. Okay. 
really pretty green. And that's sort of a sap green. Use less water and you can get more concentrated. And then if I added, if I added a little bit of red to that, I'll get a nice brown. And like I said, this is very, this is very weak, weakened down with water. So let's go ahead and do that again. We'll add We'll add yellow. And um, blue to a nice green. And then we'll add just a teeny tiny bit of red. Just a high staining. Gosh dang it, I got too much. So I'm going to go back to yellow. And I'll flip it to orange. And because orange is the complementary of blue, we're going to go back and get a brown. So you mix all these three colors. And you can get just an array. Okay, so let's let's add, and this is a really pretty, really pretty. That's about the same color as that. And that makes a really pretty skin tone if you just add a teeny teeny tiny bit of ultramarine blue. Really pretty skin tone, and just as this is a really pretty skin tone. I think that needs a little pinker in that. A little bit more. There we go. Beautiful skin tone, beautiful. Okay, so we could even add a teeny tiny touch more blue in there. Sometimes the, there, that's pretty. That's, it just cools it off a little bit. I like those neutrals too. So, all right, so let's go and wipe these wells out and we'll work from red and blue and then just add and keep in mind if you if you work with such strong pigments as Daniel Smith then it's going to take less and less paint so your paint's going to last you a long time and it might take you more paint to do the same thing with a brand like Van Gogh. Okay, so let's turn the page. Let me get that so it don't drip anymore. And this is, um, I'll show you the sketchbook I'm using. I use this so much. I love this sketchbook. I never feel precious about it. It's the Strathmore Visual Journal 90 pound watercolor paper. So I really enjoy this book. I never feel precious about it. I feel like I can do just about anything I want. Okay, so let's go back to this. And let's mix Let's mix blue and, okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and put blue up here. Okay, 
and let's take a little bit of this quinacridone red a lot because it was wet and let's go ahead and let those two mingle okay and i'm going to take that quinacridone red on my brush and i'm going to mix it with this ultramarine and oh i get this pretty Moby color really pretty so okay and that's pretty much equal parts so if I would add a little bit more of ultramarine blue I'm gonna get a deeper purple and keep going and yet a deeper purple. And this is kind of like a dioxazine color. So, okay, so then if we take it more to the red side, let's get a little bit of this red. Okay, let's thicken that up a little bit. Not too watery. Afraid you won't see it on the page. So I'm going to take purple, blue and red. Okay, here's a really pretty color. This is like a real pretty wine color, Bordeaux. Let's deepen that up a little bit with a little bit more red. Yeah. That's pretty. Okay, let's take it with a little bit more red and see what happens. It's about the same. So, okay, until we get back to Quinacridone red. It will just keep going. Until it's back to its original color. And we can do that on the other end of the spectrum. We can do that with the blue too. We can take it and add the blue until it goes back to purple. So that's how you get your good color mixes. Let's get a little bit more purple or blue. Take it to a different, deeper purple. Okay, now what would happen if I added the yellow? It, yellow is the complement of purple, so it's going to go grayish or brown and it's going to neutralize it, which that's a pretty shadow color. So that is a really good mix. Now, if I added some quinacridone red, oh, that's kind of pretty. That's kind of a brickish color. I like muted colors. So that's kind of the color of a brick. Say we added some blue. As long as you know your color theory. Oh, here's a really pretty muted purple. So that is the point. Get into your colors get three colors and a brush this is just an oval mop i like it it's a princeton it's not very expensive about seven bucks get you a sketchbook you're not afraid to mess up this is cheap sketchbook i think it's ten dollars or less and you know it just has a ton of pages in it so 
And then you don't have to have a pallet like this. You get a ceramic plate at the dollar store or out of your cupboard or at the thrift store for a dime. So, um, but if it is ceramic, that's better. Even if it's from the thrift store, if it's um, porcelain or ceramic, then it your, your paints do better on it. So try that, try color mixing. Leave me a comment in below. I'll leave you some um, paint recommendations in the comment below and or in the pen comment at the top of the comments and then in my description below. So this is so much fun. You know, one thing I really, really love to do. Okay, before we go, let's do one more thing. Let's do a color wheel. I've got a more in-depth um, video on my color wheel. Um, and I'll link that in the cards above. That will um, help you. But this is a good way to get your mixes. Okay, so I'll take that and I'll add some yellow to that. And there we got green, yellow to blue, red to yellow. I love the way that nickel has of yellow. You know, it's not for everybody. So if you'd rather get lemon yellow, and then, but I love that. So, you know, to each his own. And then I've got blue, French ultramarine blue. I always think as, as the universal blue. And then get some quinacridone red. And there you got a beautiful purple. And then, if you take them and mix them all together, in the middle, they kind of just all disappear into a gray. Oh, I keep going back and forth because they're such staining colors. Okay, that's green. So a little bit more red. You just keep going back and forth with your compliment. Now see, these are just high, high staining. So I keep grabbing too many. Too much color. Okay, let's try again. Red. Yellow. Mix orange and blue. Makes brown. Great. There we go. There we go. So, have fun. Get your three colors and just keep, just keep making different colors until you got it. So, red and green are across the color wheel. And I'll link that other video above. Um, blue and orange are across from each other, and purple and yellow are across from each other on the color wheel. So have fun, enjoy, and let me know how you do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.